Uh, so I think Courtney is hanging out over in our kitchen area with a couple scouts. That's Scarlett and Abigail. We are going to uh, check in with them in just a few minutes to see what they're doing over there. But first, here to chat about how the Boy Scouts of America organization is now inviting boys and girls to join. Please welcome Vice Chairman of the Sam Houston Area Council, Debbie Rawlinson, and volunteer Rachel Hutchinson. Ladies, welcome to the show. Thanks, Gary. Thanks. Full disclosure, I was a Cub Scout and a Boy Scout. I'm a super fan of your organization. And I also love that in recent years, you guys have evolved to become more inclusive. So let's talk about this decision to include girls as Cub Scouts. We are totally excited about this. So beginning August the 1st in our council, we are welcoming girls into Cub Scouts. So girls kindergarten through fifth grade can join this year and be part of the Cub Scout program. And then beginning February 1st, girls will be invited into Boy Scouts. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, so specifically Cub Scouts, the younger girls, yes. they come into the program. And for people who are maybe unfamiliar, Rachel, talk to us a little bit about what these young people are learning in the program. Well, they're learning um, outdoor skills. They're learning how to be good citizens. Um, they're doing fun things while they're learning. They don't even really realize they're learning because they're outside playing with Pinewood Derby cars and pushmobiles and rain gutter regatta boats, but at the same time, they're, they're learning all these skills it's fantastic. Yeah. And, and some of the skills, by the way, it's, it's STEM learning, but also just volunteer opportunities in the community, because a big part of what the, the Boy Scouts of America organization believes in is, is team building and confidence and being responsible citizens, right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Leadership skills, duty to country, duty to others, duty to self. Those are all good things. You remember those well, Derry. I do, you know what? I remember the, the Scout law. A Scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. Wow. I remember that. A plus. Even good from job. like 20 years ago. And Rachel, I think what you said is really interesting that, um, that these young people are learning without even realizing it. What was it that drew you into the organization? How did you become a volunteer? Well, my son actually kind of drew us in because he came home one day and said, I want to be a Cub Scout. And so we took him to sign up night because he, he made sure that we knew when it was and where it was. And uh, originally I, I didn't have much experience in scouting and I kind of thought it was going to be something that he and my husband did together. Um, but it's, it's really not, it's for the whole family. So I ended up helping being the uh, chartered org representative. So I would help facilitate conversations between the pack and the school and things like that. And let's talk about some of these activities, uh, Debbie, because we're seeing a rocket launch here. There's like a science element to a lot of this learning, but there are some pretty exciting activities that these young people can do. Absolutely. And I can I tell you about those rockets for just a second? Please. Because yeah. we, every Cub Scout, every new Cub Scout this fall is going to get a free rocket after they join Cub Scouts. And these are cool rockets, Derek. They shoot 200 feet in the air. Oh my gosh. They float back down and you can shoot the things off again. So they are a lot of fun and every new youth every boy and girl who joins Cub Scouts this fall gets a free rocket that is super cool and whether it's the rockets or the Pinewood Derby or the regatta I mean people are learning about physics and gravity and motion and kinetic energy as well Talk to us about some of the headlining activities that these young people can experience. Well, they're going to go camping, which is a great adventure for kids of any age. Yeah. They love being outdoors. That opens up a whole new world to a lot of the youth that have not been outside, or they don't even know what the inside of a tent might be. For. Yeah, yeah. So to get them outdoors, to cook outside, to have a campfire, and of course we have to teach them to make some s'mores because everyone that camps knows how to make Oh, that is a critical prerequisite. Absolutely. Everyone should learn. Why don't we take a quick break and check back in over with our lovely Cub Scouts, Abigail and Scarlett, who are hanging out with Courtney. Courtney, what's up over there? Okay, first of all, I guess I need to see what an inside of a tent looks like. I'm one of those people. Okay, I am joined with Scarlett, 10 years old, and Abigail, who's seven, who's walking us through this fun activity. But before we explain that, Scarlett, come back over here. Talk to me about your favorite activity while scouting. What do you like the best? I like camping and exploring around the camp. And um, why did you want to become part of the scouts? Uh, because my brother was in it, and ever since he joined, I wanted to join because he did fun activities. I'm not sure if you guys can hear her. Can you hear her okay? She joined because her big brother did it, and uh, he did all of the really great 
activities. So we're going to toss back to Derek. We're having some technical problems, but we're having fun with this regatta here. Well, and you know what? Those boats, they look great. And I love how with the straws, they are propelling quite nicely. So very nicely done, Abigail and Scarlett. And let's talk about the, the membership numbers and the signups, because you guys are going through this recruitment process right now where you're literally having thousands of new members uh, joining, and a lot of those are girls. This is really a fun season to be part of Cub Scouting. So we started in August 1st, but most of the schools don't start till late in, in August. So we've already had over 2,200 kids sign up for Cub Scouts just right. since school started up the 1st of August. And, and half of those, Derek, have come in the last week. So September really ramps things up. And so far we've had about 225 girls register for Cub Scouts. So oh. we are getting pretty excited about all these new scouts. That makes me so happy to hear that. And you know, seeing this video, it is, I don't know, it's scouting. I have such great memories of being a scout. And you know, I probably learned things that I don't even realize I was learning as Rachel mentioned, but I think it's great what you guys are doing. Thank you for being more inclusive. I love that girls are coming in now. And uh, if you sign up to be a scout, you will be glad you did. Scarlett, Abigail, Courtney, Debbie, Rachel, thank you so much for stopping by. And a reminder that if you would like to sign up your child for scouts, just visit BeASCOUT.org or you can call their phone number 713-659-8111 for more information.